What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Zoop Skills Fishing. Uh, in today's episode, um, I'm just uh, trying out my bait casting reel. I have uh, used it in the past and I've only caught one species, which is a shad. Um, however, today I've just got a hookup with a cutlass fish, also known as a walla walla. Here we go. So that's the first hookup for the day. Um, I did try a small session yesterday early in the morning as well. I had a hook up with a kingy, but he got off after about a minute. Um, I'm still getting used to bait casting reels. I've never actually um, fished in fresh water. So this is something new to me. I have been using it for a while and I have got about four fish, so not bad. Just want you guys to have a look at the bait casting reel that I'm actually using. So guys, this is actually a concept reel. I bought it from uh, one of my friends. Uh, his name is Vinesh from Angler Times in Westville. Uh, his father actually went to a fishing convention in Asia a few years back and brought this reel down. So this is a saltwater ready, saltwater friendly bait casting reel. And that's why I use it. So I can use it uh, in fresh water and salt water. And um, yeah, this is my first fish for the day. Let me release it and then do a bit more fishing, see what else I can possibly get. So guys, as you can see, here's a cutlass fish in the water. He's just getting some water through his gills or her gills and will be off soon. So yeah, that's the first fish down. Let's see if I can catch anything else. There we go, guys. Got a shad and a Z-Man Manos, three inch pearl color. So guys, this is a oxide tarpon that I just caught. It's the second one. I'm gonna release this guy right now. Yeah, man. Beautiful fish. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Zoof Skills Fishing. Uh, I just accomplished one of my goals right now. So I'm not sure if you can notice already, but it's actually raining, as you can see. Uh, but I decided to come, come through and just hit a few throws and see what I could get. It's very cold, very windy, uh, very cloudy, as you can see. I uh, just, just had to eat a few throws. Um, today is Saturday. Uh, last night after work, I just had to eat a few throws and I actually lost a fish right here. At the bottom right there. I'm not sure what it was. I'm not sure what it was, but uh, it passed me off, broke me off. So, this is obviously on my big casting reel. And I just caught something right now. There we go. That's my first cob or snapper on a lure. I caught one uh, recently on bait. It was much bigger than this one. But uh, yeah, nice one. So this guy gets to uh, fight another day because I'm gonna release him right now. So guys, uh, here's the snapper in my hand. I'm gonna release him right now. Fish is surprisingly very warm. So let's get a nice one on the release. Okay, that was a fail. I'm gonna try that again just now. Okay, there he goes. There he goes, there he goes. He's going the wrong way. So this guy's actually coming back up on land. I'm gonna release him. Okay, so that first release was a fail. I'm gonna try it again. So 
so guys it was worth it so i got another new species on the lot today very uh, excited about that i think i actually caught a larger counterpart of that species yesterday because it bust me off right here on the rocks with that being said let's see what else i can catch there we go guys so guys regarding the session i do have my action camera here it's in, it's in my uh, fishing tackle bag I'll show you right now. There we go. It's in this package here, the see-through clear plastic. Uh, the reason why I haven't used it today is because I'm on my uh, waterproof uh, protection or the screen uh, protection. I have a small pack at that uh, connection to the components in the back so I don't want to actually uh, damage this camera anytime soon because I just bought the spare battery so I can actually uh, fish twice as much um, in regard to the amount of uh, footage and content I get for the channel so this camera here on this phone is i'll say a bit more sturdy in terms of waterproofness it's much more sealed i'm actually using my sony xperia xa1 right now and uh, it's a uh, mobile camera it's 20 megapixels so it does a good job it's just that uh, i don't want to take a chance or a risk uh, with the chesty on and then have a problem with the camera and then i have to just buy another one and start all over again uh, so I was having issues with this camera in the past and uh, took it back to the store, got a brand new unit it, that, which is this one which gave me a few issues and now everything seems to be fine. So yeah, I don't want to take any unnecessary risks and I'm just fishing for like a short period of time. So yeah, uh, that's it for this session. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to uh, switch your notifications on so whenever I post a, a video or a vlog um, you obviously get a notification about that. Please like, share, subscribe with your friends, anyone else you know who likes fishing. Um, guys, I'm not doing this for fame or fortune. I'm just doing it because this is my passion. I love to fish. Um, I live basically across the road from the harbor so it's not a hassle for me. And uh, I just want to share my experiences with everyone. And the most important thing guys is we need to take care of our fish stocks in South Africa, especially on the East Coast. Um, you know what, people in other parts of the world have the same species, but they have them in larger numbers and even the size of the fish are generally larger it's because they take care of their um, fish, they take care of their fisheries, they take care of their environments. Uh, all about conservation guys, which is the most important thing. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm actually pushing with this channel. So thanks for tuning in guys, uh, stay tuned for my next video, which will be a product review vlog, it's something quite nice and amazing, um, yeah, so thanks so much guys, cheers, till next time.